What's happening guys, Jay here and today I'm going to do my first ever review of a Figma. This is my first ever Figma and this is Sekiro Shadows Die Twice from Max Factory. And this is the DX version, DX meaning this is the more um, premium version. It comes with a lot more uh, additional stuff uh, compared to the original Sekiro figure that Max Factory released a couple of years ago. So without further ado, let's uh, unbox this thing. So of course, this is from Max Factory and Figmas. I don't know if you guys are aware, but Figmas over the years have become super expensive. And that's a big reason why I sort of hesitated buying this. Um, but you know, I really love the game. I really love the design of Sekiro as well. As you can see, I just unboxed it. Uh, before going to the figure, I want to point out that the box here is not something you'd want to throw away. Because this box is, feels really different. It's sort of like a... I forgot the sort of texture for this. But it's really... It's not like carton. Like generic carton, as you can see. The lettering there. Really good finish. Sekiro Shadows Die Twice. And I, I just forgot all the material. But I don't know if I can zoom in there. There's a sort of fabric-y texture here for the box. So really, really cool. It's not just a basic print. And it feels really good. It's almost like touching fabric almost. Something like that. Yeah. But anyway, uh, here's the back of the box. As you can see, there are the freebies. It's The printing is not quite clear because of the material and the texture here. That's one downside. But you don't really mind it. I mean, the front's already gorgeous as it is. And you can display Sekiro with the box if you want, if you're into that. But I'm not into that. And so we are unboxing this right now. Alright, so before that, first thing you got here is you got this one. So this is Death. It's a kanji, a Chinese character for Death. And for those unaware who are just watching this review, um, whenever you die in the game, which you will die plenty, plenty times, that is the hallmark of a FromSoft game, you will die, prepare to die. Uh, this thing appears on your screen, sort of like, uh, it's the equivalent of you died, and look at that. Wow. That is just great. I mean, that is a good sort of film thing, uh, clear thing going on. That's so aesthetic. I did not expect this to be so well made, but yeah. So death, there we go. That's for like a display piece. And then, go here. So as you can see, this is the, uh, I think this is the outskirts of Ashina Castle. Alright, enough dabbling. Let's open this thing up. Alright, so first, I'll remove these guys here. So this is a hallmark for Figmas. This is, of course, uh, numerous uh, hand pieces, as you can see. So different uh, hand gestures for Sekiro. Of course, you can hold some weapons here, and then they've got the stand over there. What else we got here? So, got a, like a bag. I don't know what that's for. And then, let's go down to Sekiro himself. Ooh. Alright. So, something came off. This is obviously the grappling hook. So, again, grappling hook is one of the benefits of Sekiro from getting the prosthetic tool. For those unaware again, Prosthetic tool or the prosthetic arm is basically Sekiro's uh, prosthetic, yeah, literally a prosthetic arm that he got after his arm got severed by uh, Genichiro, his main rival in the game. So there is Sekiro. So he's a shinobi, obviously, for those again who are unaware of it. Shinobi, ninja. My goodness. These figures don't mess around. Let me just focus my camera. Okay, there we go. So these figures don't mess around, guys. I mean, look at how well detailed this thing is. Holy crap. I think I haven't told you guys the price of this, but I think I got this for a little over 120 bucks. So it is quite expensive. Zoom in Sekiro's face. Look at that. Amazing. The scarf. Um, got here the feet. Let me just show the feet. So there's the feet of Sekiro. And then there he has... Sekiro has two blades, obviously. So he has the, the mortal blade here, and then he has his typical uh, katana over here. I forgot the name of his katana. But he has one there also. And then look at the prosthetic arm up close. Wow. Amazing detail. I don't know, the face kind of seems dark. 
compared to the video game. I don't know what happened. I know Sekiro does have those markings, obviously, because of the dragon's heritage and his immortality. But I think the other side of the face is a little dark, though it is accurate. I can definitely see so. But yeah, there's some sort of dark patches there, which isn't a big deal anyway. Then finally, we have the sculptor's idol. So as you can see over here, really ominous looking. Look at that, the ribs, the face. Really, really creepy looking thing. Alright, look at that, the back. Everything here is accurate. Okay, now I'm not really sure uh, how to pose this guy first. This is my first unboxing. So, But we have the manual over here, as you can see. And there are sort of certain instructions to follow. So I will be just sitting down through these and I will be showing you guys some um, poses real quick about all of the instructions presented over here. So be back in a jiffy. Alright guys, so now I'm doing some several poses for Sekiro. As you can see, I've attached them on the base, on the action base. And then of course, there's that Figma sign over there. And if to attach him, it's really simple. You just have to uh, insert this peg. Uh, there's a hole on his back over there, so that's really simple. And it offers a lot of height to Sekiro, so it offers so much versatility in how you can pose Se Sekiro. And it's really sturdy, so that's important. So as you can see, just to do this, I moved his feet a bit. There's a lot of extension on his feet. A lot of ninja style thing going on, as you can see. You can even do that. So, so he's sort of, sort of grappling over in this pose. And I've attached the grappling hook over here. As you can see, the grappling hook is really wiry. It's already curved as it is. And you simply have to just sandwich it with a specific prosthetic hand for that to fit in right there. So next, it's his basic katana over here. And I just attached it with the appropriate um, uh, hand. So just gonna insert it there on that hole. As you can see. There we go. So, really, really nice. Um, I really like this pose, actually, like the with the sword, with the grappling hook, sort of like escaping from a match. Really nice. So over here, guys, you can see now I've applied the loaded umbrella to Sekiro this time around. So I'm not using the base simply because the loaded umbrella is typically used in the video game while crouching. That's how he defends himself. He doesn't use this as a shield, obviously. He uses it as an umbrella, hence it's called an umbrella. And basically what I did is I just made him kneel uh, like this. And uh, one of, of course, his prosthetic hand is the one holding the umbrella. So for those who don't uh, want to see how it works, uh, there's this sort of handle. This doesn't move with the umbrella. And then there's the sort of a same, the same prosthetic hand that you would need to hold a weapon, like the sword. You just basically stick it through there. And I think this is the best time to show you guys the sculptor's idol. So there's this. Um, and then there's the flame. So the flame, uh, when I checked, it's basically easy to remove, just like this. So it's two pieces. And you just simply sort of attach it to there. The hands and there it is there's the flame there's Sekiro and his umbrella all right next we have the loaded spear so for the loaded spear all you got to do is switch the prosthetic hand with the closed version and then the uh, normal hand of Sekiro is the one that's sort of open so it's just resting as you can see over here so this is the Spear of Gyobu, or the Loaded Spear, or you want to call it. So there's that. So this is pretty cool as it is, kind of standard, kind of kind of bland almost. But, you know, it is what it is, and it's really cool just to see Sekiro be able to use this prosthetic tool as well. Really, really nice. Just show you the back side of that. It's a very long spear, so it's really nice. Very awesome. Alright guys, so this is the last prosthetic tool, as you can see. This is the loaded axe, and it's really easy to apply. It's just like a sword, basically. Uh, yeah, there's the loaded axe. One thing that I find uh, that I remembered from attaching the loaded axe is they didn't include the sabi maru here, which is like the small uh, sort of blade that all, that's also a prosthetic tool. But they didn't add it here, which you know I, I I find it okay because it is a small prosthetic tool. This is definitely a lot bigger and more noticeable, obviously. So I'm fine with that. But yeah, as you can see, this is the loaded axe, and uh, you can pose Sekiro 
sort of, sort of like cocking it back maybe like how he does it in the video game this is how he sort of gains momentum to crush the shields of his opponents and the posture as well maybe something like that and then if you guys notice here i've also attached the mortal blade it's significantly longer and bigger compared to the regular uh, katana over here as you can see there's a night and day difference over there and it's of course a lot more black with the red touch uh, i think i'm gonna keep the mortal blade over here because this thing re looks really solid and in the video game in my video game at least i've defeated so many bosses thanks in large part to the mortal blade i couldn't have defeated the demon of hatred without the mortal blade i think really really made a difference so yeah really cool Now overall this kit or this Figma is super worth it I think. It is on the expensive side because it's a DX but everything you get here is really solid. Everything is consistently um, designed accurately and properly. My only nitpick probably is the eyes of Sekiro. They're, they're almost not there. Like you can't see his eyes there. And I don't think it's... Yeah. His face isn't the most accurate I would say. And his eyes really need more work. I don't like you can't even see his eyes, but you know, I uh, you don't. You're not really buying this thing for Sekiro's eyes, right? Uh, what's important is his posture, his body, his uh, attire, armor, prosthetic arm. Everything is accurate apart from that. So no worries. Even the loaded umbrella, as you saw earlier, this thing rocks really, really cute, and I like how nicely sized and proportionate it is. And everything else, sculptor's idol, all of the attachments, the blades, the spear. These are all accurate and excellent for Sekiro, and to top it all off, you get also, again, a sort of background that you can pose maybe with Sekiro, like that. And you also have a box that's really aesthetic. So overall, I would rate this an easy 10 out of 10, well worth the money. My first Figma, definitely worth it. I'll be looking to review more upcoming Figmas. It really depends on how much I love the character and if I'm willing to spend the money for it. But for Sekiro, definitely this will act as one of my favorite figures to date. And it's a perfect way to just celebrate me defeating the game in less than a month. Sort of like a trophy, my ultimate, thro uh, my ultimate trophy for defeating such a difficult game. Probably one of the most difficult, if not the most difficult game for the past uh, decade or so. So anyways, that's it for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed this review. If you did, please hit like and subscribe to Omocha Reviews. We'll be making more Omocha content and anime content in the future. I'll be posting maybe a few of my Sekiro video clips, my first playthrough, mostly just the boss fight, so stick around if you're interested in that. Anyways, guys, thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time. This is Jay, and goodbye.